are discussing about representing an ideal transformer in terms of two port network and last time we arrived at this condition. Now, the way I have assumed the direction of I 1 and I 2, these uh, uh, parameters are A B C D parameters, where A is the number of turns of primary to secondary. And I know what to do if I have been asked to find out the z parameters or y parameters that I was telling to you, because to find out z and y parameters current should be I 2 should be reversed in that way. We will we know this. Now, uh, the interesting uh, thing is uh, about uh, this transformer once you have written a 1 by a. So, uh, so this is the transformer and uh, in we, we say that in terms of uh, in terms of a b c d parameters a b c d or sometimes called t parameters transmission line parameters it will be that is the transmission line parameters means V 1 I 1 should be there that is the input voltage and current is represented in terms of output voltage and current that is V 2 I 2. Uh, and this we got uh, A 0 and this we got 0 1 by A because uh, V 1 is equal to A V 2 and I 1 is equal to I 2 by A. Ideal transformer A is N 1 by N 2 that is fine, this is the thing. Now, uh, suppose uh, these two terminals of this is terminated across an impedance say Z L. Secondary side if you terminate an impedance, then what impedance will be seen from the input port? That is we want to find out when Z L connected, what is the impedance seen from looking through the input ports? Z in is how much? of this network that can be also easily calculated and many of us know the result, but nonetheless let us calculate from here. So, you know V 1 is equal to A V 2, I 1 is equal to I 2 by A. Therefore, V uh, 1 by I 1 the impedance seen from the primary side will be equal to A V 2 by I 2 by A which is equal to a square v 2 by i 2, but v 2 by i 2 is nothing but z l that is equal to a square into z l. So, impedance seen from this side if you connect z l is a square into z l. So, sometimes transformer uh, people say it transfers the value of the impedance, but one thing should be understood impedance seen through input port input port that is Z in it will be like this, but A is a number without any dimension and things like that. Therefore, although the value of the impedance will be changed looking from this uh, primary end, but quality of the impedance remains same. That is if it is inductive, this will be also inductive seen by the source that is this, this circuit is equivalent to this circuit that is V 1 and here as if you have connected an impedance which is a square z l. So, if z l is 3 plus j 4 ohm inductive this will also remain inductive 
although the magnitude of the impedance etc will change therefore a transformer transfers the value of the impedance from the secondary to the primary side this is uh, jd in and quality of the impedance does not change but it changes and obviously uh, suppose you have a circuit like this suppose you have a transformer uh, like this with input port and this is with output port and you have another transformer with input port output port and suppose the turns ratio of this is a1 and turns ratio of this is a2 both of them are ideal transformer then what i will be doing is i will cascade them and here i will connect an impedance zn across the secondary so this is one transformer and this is another transformer what is the turns ratio of this transformer small a1 turns ratio of this transformer this turn is to this turn a2 now these two are then connected in cascade cascaded in fact cascade connection of transformers are very common in power system also you step down the voltage then one second step up the voltage then step down the voltage and so on but in any case uh, this can be represented by this whole thing can be represented by a single transformer where you give this as voltage v1 so equivalently it can be represented by a single transformer we want to find out what will be the turns ratio of this equivalent transformer very simple because these two are cascaded and if they are cascaded it is better you deal with abcd parameters then uh, if you say in this network not be this i2 suppose this is i1 and you say that this is i2 and this is v2 then we know from our previous knowledge of uh, abcd parameters is that this v1 i1 can be represented in terms of this overall output voltage v2 i2 now this v2 i2 if you pre multiply with uh, this uh, abcd parameters that is a2 0 0 1 by a2 then you will get voltage current here the, the, this column will give you voltage and current in this then you pre multiply this abcd parameters gets multiplied if things are connected in and this will become a1 0 and 0 1 by a1 this is the thing and uh, if you multiply this two this will simply become uh, a1 a2 a1 0 so this is 0 then first row second column a1 into 0 and uh, uh, 0 into 1 by a2 this will give 0 and finally the last one it will become 1 over a1 a2 isn't it this will be the thing therefore a equivalent will be just product of a1 a2 therefore any impedance you connect uh, to this side 
will get multiplied by j d q valent j d in, in this case in this equivalent network j d q valent will be then a 1 a 2 square into j l or you can think j l is first converted to a 2 square j l and then it is multiplied by a 1 square to get the input impedance here. Got the idea? So, this is how uh, although the quality of the impedance does not change. In case of impedance matching circuit transformers are used in amplifier circuit like that in electronics. Therefore, uh, this is what is called impedance matching. If your source impedance uh, is to be matched with the load impedance for maximum power transfer to take place then this is how and if there is a mis mismatch between source impedance and load impedance you then can use a transformer of appropriate turns ratio to keep to make them same. So, for maximum power transfer takes place you know that, but this is the this is how a two port network can be very easily applied in order to transfer the impedance although the quality of the impedance will not change. If it is j del is inductive, j d equivalent also will be inductive. If j del is capacitance, it will be capacitance and so on. Now, we will discuss about an interesting two port network called uh, gyrator. That is, I will say that this is V1, this is I1, and this one I will write I2, and this is plus minus V2, two port network. Now, suppose I say suppose the relationship between input voltage current with output voltage and current is uh, uh, like this that is V 1 is equal to suppose minus k into I 1, where k is a number k into I 2. Okay? suppose we say that and the second equation is V 2 is equal to k into I 1. Suppose, this is uh, the relationship between the input voltage and output current that is this input voltage is such that it is proportional to this current I 2 voltage I, I should not say input voltage voltage uh, input port voltage and similarly output port voltage depends on this current. Suppose, uh, uh, such a uh, relationship exists between input port quantities and output port quantities. Now, obviously, if uh, and this relationship can be written in various forms, we will come to this slightly later. Now, you see first thing is the interesting point is that suppose uh, I have connected. So, a gyrator is what a two port network the relationship between input voltage and current are related by this where k is called gyrator constant gyrator constant. or sometimes called gyrator resistance because the dimension of k is voltage by current. So, gyrator or gyrator resistance or gyrator resistance. Is not this is the thing. Achha, suppose on this side I will connect an inductor.
I will connect an inductor. What is the voltage across this inductor? Same as this. What is the current flowing through the inductor? Minus I2. And we know that minus I2, the current through the inductor is uh, nothing but 1 by L into voltage across the inductor V2 into dt, is not volt second by L we have studied in while defining inductor voltage current re uh, relationship which essentially means V2 is equal to L di to dt that is fine. So, this is the relationship minus I2 is equal to 1 by L or or I2 is equal to minus 1 by L into V2 dt that is fine. Now, what we will be doing we will be calculating what happens to V 1. V 1 if it is a gyrator is minus k into I 2 is it? If any mistake we just point out. So, V 1 is equal to minus k into I 2 that is fine. Therefore, for I 2 I will write minus k is there then minus 1 over L substitute this into integral V 2 d t is not this will be the thing which is equal to k by L k by L into integral V 2 d t but V 2 is equal to k into I 1. Therefore, V 1 is equal to k by L into integral for V 2 you write k I 1 d t which is equal to k square by L into I 1 d t. Therefore, input uh, will say that a voltage has been applied or uh, if you pass a current source k square by L into I 1 d t. So, input will say the integration of current I 1 whatever impedance the input uh, fellow will see he will see this equation ok voltage. So, it is just like an capacitor because in a capacitor what happens you know that if this is I. Uh, then voltage across the capacitor V we have seen earlier that uh, if current flows then the voltage across the capacitor is 1 by C I d t. So, it is exactly of this form. So, applied voltage V 1 we will see the integration of the input current divided by some constant that is equal to 1 over L by k square into I 1 d t. Therefore, you see the interesting part of it for this two port network if you connect an inductor across the output input will see a capacitor as if you have connected a capacitor. Unlike a transformer, transformer will manipulate the magnitude of the impedance by some a square term that is ok but the quality of the impedance remains same here quality of the impedance changes. Similarly, you can show that if you connect a capacitor here to this input terminal the impedance will appear to be inductive this is the beauty of this gyrator. Of course, uh, these circuits are not uh, developed at uh, high power level circuit like in power system transformers are used in power systems, but gyrator in control uh, system or at a low power electronic devices you can easily uh, make uh, this input supply terminal say full by connecting an inductor he will always interpret ok as if a capacitance has been connected to the so. So, this one through this input port it will look like V 1 I 1 and there is as if somebody has connected an inductance 
capacitance. What is the value of the capacitance? 1 over c that is L by k square. So, for a gyrator network if you know the value of k inductance value the magnitude of the capacitance that this input port will see can be easily calculated. Okay. So, gyrator if uh, you can achieve this input voltage output voltage relations you can do it like that clear. <coughs> Achha, now, uh, if uh, suppose somebody wants to uh, so, what are these parameters? See, first let me write in terms of now matrices. So, what is the relationship? Relationship is V1, V2, is it? Is equal to in terms of matrices, I would like to write it in terms of I1 and I2, like this. So, V1 is equal to minus k i 2. So, 0 minus k this, this, this equation the first equation and V2 is equal to k into i 1 k into i 1 and this uh, k into i 1 0 into i 2 this equation these are these two equations in matrix form. What is this matrix? this matrix is impedance matrix z 1 1 z 1 2 z 2 1 z 2 2 is not is it a symmetric matrix for symmetric matrix these two values should be same it is in fact anti symmetric matrix these two are magnitude same but opposite signs so it is anti symmetric matrix that can be noted and uh, this is the z parameters because uh, it is consistent with the direction of current and voltages I have assumed for this two port network this to be called as uh, the z parameters of this two port network. Now, obviously, if I want to connect uh, two gyrators in cascade, then like the two transformers in cascade we found it is equivalent to another equivalent transformers of some turns ratio a 1 into a 2. Now, if you have two gyrators connected in series, I want to find out what is the uh, input output port voltage and at the end what is the output voltage output current that relationship. Suppose, I want to find out then what should I do the moment things are connected in cascade always try to write down this relationship in terms of a b c d parameters. So, is it a b c are they a b c d parameters no because if they are connect, uh, written in terms of a b c d parameters then those two matrices are simply to be multiplied to get the overall uh, relationship between input voltage current and output voltage and current that is the whole idea. Now, suppose so I want to write down the same equation in terms of uh, a b c d parameters. parameter representation of a two port network of a two port gyrator I want to do it. So, this the thing is like this this is plus minus V 1 this is I 1 but here I have assumed it to be I 2 to be this way is not and we uh, got this relationship that is V 1 
is equal to minus k i 2 and v 2 is equal to k i 1 and this is true v 1 is equal to minus k i 2 and v 2 is equal to k i 1 that is the thing usual thing. But if I want to represent it in terms of uh, uh, what is called uh, ABCD parameters, you know what we do is this, this the direction of the current of I 2 is to be reversed. That is we generally as I have been telling many a times that uh, to find out ABCD parameter for ABCD parameter. convention is to assume the direction of voltages and currents in this way. Therefore, uh, therefore, what should be how these equations will be modified? It will be simply this is I 2 means uh, minus I 2 is entering good. Therefore, V 1 should be k into minus I 2 which is equal to k i 2 for this particular case and v 2 is equal to k into i 1. Therefore, uh, a b c d parameters to find it out v 1 i 1 and I must represent it in terms of this direction of the current v 2 i 2 and we get this way. No. I 1 is 1 by k v 2 v 2. V 1 is uh, k i 2 v 2 is k i 1 fine. So, uh, v 1 is k i 2 that is also fine and i 1 is 1 by k into v 2 that is i 1 is 1 by k into v 2. So, it will be 0 eh? 1 by k sorry you should be careful while directing 1 by k and this is 0 this will be the thing v 2 by k 2. So, this will be the thing. Now, suppose if two gyrators you connect then the uh, if two gyrators gyrator 1 and gyrator 2 this is gyrator g 1 and this is g 2 and uh, this is the input voltage v 1 this is i 1 and you connect uh, another and you get the overall output is v 2 and this current is i 2. Then what I am telling this this voltage if you say this is some V dashed and I dashed here this voltage is V dashed this voltage is I dashed. Then uh, first thing is for this gyrator it should be V dashed I dashed is the input voltage and input current and it will be equal to 0. Suppose, this gyrator constant is this k 2 and this should be equal to uh, into v 2 into i 2 is not this voltage and current are related with this that is this gyrator has got a constant k 1 and this gyrator has got a constant k 2. So, v dash i dash and v 2 i 2 are related with that. Similarly, for gyrator 1 v dash i dash is the output and v 1 i 1 is the input. So, 
for the for, this is for G 2 for G 2 and for G 1 this generator the input voltage is V 1 I 1 and this will be equal to 0 k 1 and 1 by k 1 and 0 and this will be equal to v dash i dash is not and then uh, uh, this for v dash i dash i will substitute this in this equation. So, it will be 0 k 1 1 by k 1 0 and for v dash i dash from this equation I will put this thing that is 0 k 2 and 1 by k 2 and 0 and this is uh, v 2 i 2 is not this is the thing. Therefore, the overall relationship of these two gyrators will be like this. If I write it from there, if you go, so I will say V1 I1 is equal to from this, I will say it is a matrix multiply 2 by 2 matrix, very easy to multiply 0 to 0 plus K1 first row first column K1 by K2. So, 0 second term uh, 0 is not 0 0 plus K 1 by K 2 why uh, K 1 by K 2 correct. So, this will be K 1 by K 2 if any mistake point out. So, this into this I have written now this into this it will be 0 0. So, this is 0 then second row first column this 0 this 0. So, this is 0 and uh, second row second column it will be k 2 by k 1 k 2 by k 1 and this will be your output voltage and current. Therefore, if two gyrators are connected in cascade and this is the overall relationship between V 1 I 1 and this V 2 I 2, there were two gyrators. Does it remain a gyrator now? The answer is no, because for a gyrator the form of the matrix should be like this. What it is then? It is a transformer, because for a transformer we have seen that uh, 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 a by 1 by a and the diagonal positive these elements are present. So, so for this one you see it becomes uh, is equal to of this form a 0 0 1 by a sorry this is a where where a is k 1 by k 2 and this relationship suggests that two gyrators in cascade will behave like an ideal transformer. Just to uh, explain to you uh, what to do with this relationship. Therefore, a single gyrator although changes the impedances quality of the impedances changed looking from the a single gyrator will do that a two gyrators will not be doing that. It will once again uh, if you connect an ZL here, suppose some ZL you connect here, what is the impedance that will be seen by this fellow? J equivalent seen from the input side will be a square A is K 1 by K 2 whole square into this ZL because in equivalent it, it looks like a single transformer. Thank you for watching this. I will continue with some more points about gyrator in the next class. Thank you.